Hey there Beach Glass, I'm glad you've tuned in to watch a learning video designed to help you use the because and so conjunctions to explain your ideas. So, as you've probably guessed, this learning video is going to focus on two main conjunctions, the because conjunction and the so conjunction. And the thing about these conjunctions is they're really good at explaining something we call cause and effect. Basically, one thing happens as a result of something else. Let me show you what I mean. Now, here I've got two things which occurred. I've got the fact that I was hungry and the fact that I ate a sandwich. And I can use either the because or the so conjunction to link these two clauses together. The problem is they both don't work in exactly the same way. Let me show you what I mean. I could say I was hungry, sorry, I ate a sandwich, so I was hungry. No, that doesn't work at all. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't explain it. So let me try a different conjunction. I ate a sandwich because I was hungry. Yeah, that works in much more detail. I, I ate a sandwich because I was hungry. Now, I can use the so conjunction to join these clauses. I just can't do it in this same order. If I want to use that so conjunction, I'm going to have to do a sneaky little trick here. I'm going to swap the clauses around. Okay? So they go like almost like in the opposite direction. Okay, so now it reads, I was hungry, so I ate a sandwich. And you can see if I tried to put the because connected in this way with the clauses as they are now, it wouldn't make any sense. I was hungry because I ate a sandwich. What? That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, so the because and so connectives, they work in almost the same way and they can join the same clauses together and it can do the same job. But the problem is you have to think very carefully about the order in which you put those clauses. Let me do another example. OK, here I've got I was tired. I went to bed. These have a cause and effect relationship. One thing caused the other. It's the fact that I was tired. That's what caused me to go to bed. So I can use these because and so conjunctions. I just have to be really careful about the orders which I put my clauses. Okay. So here I've got, I was tired because I went to bed? No, that doesn't make sense. Being tired didn't cause me to go to bed. Let me try again. I was tired, ah, I was tired, so I went to bed. Yeah, I was tired, so I went to bed. Now I can use the because conjunction, it's just I'm not going to be able to use the clauses in this order. I'm going to have to swap those clauses around put them in a different order. So now it reads, I went to bed because I was tired. So again, you can see that these clauses have a cause and effect relationship and they can be joined with the because or the so conjunction. You just have to be careful about the order in which you put the clauses. Okay? So what I've produced for you as part of your learning pack this week, I've produced these load of these little cards that you can print out and cut out. Now, what they have is they have one, two clauses which have this cause and effect relationship. And I want you and a friend or you and a member of your family just to play a little game in which you join them using the because conjunction and the so conjunction. So person one, that can be Mr. McKinnon, might say, I was cold, so I put on my coat. And then person B, I'll use a different voice for this, might say, I put on my coat because I was cold. Okay. Then you can choose another card. So Mr. McKinnon might say, um, I found someone to play with because I was alone. And then your partner might say, I was alone, so I found someone to play with. Okay. We'll do one more together. Mr. McKinnon might say, um, I was bored, so I read a book. And your partner might say, I read a book because I was bored. Okay. So you can see how you and your partner there, one person uses the because conjunction, one person uses the so conjunction. And by that, you can practice using those conjunctions. Once you've mastered this and played this game for a little while, you can then use and apply this skill for our science topic kind of learning that we're doing. So I've asked you to pick an animal of your choice and explain how it's adapted to suit its environment. 
So here you can see that I've said that a squirrel has sharp claws in order for it to climb trees. It's got a long tail in order for it to balance. It's got strong teeth in order for it to open nuts. So I've come up with three key features, three adaptations, which it's made to suit its environment. Now, what you can do is when you go on to write some sentences, some explanation sentences, you can use your understanding of the because and so conjunctions to write down your sentences. For example, you could write sentences like, it has sharp claws, so it can climb trees. It has a long tail, so it can balance. It has strong teeth, so it can open nuts. The problem is, if you just always use that same type of sentence structure, your writing sounds a little bit repetitive. So what you can do is you can mix up. Sometimes you can use the clauses in this direction, using the so conjunction. Sometimes you can do it in the opposite direction. For example, it can climb trees because it has sharp claws. It can balance because it has a long tail. It can open nuts because it has strong teeth. Okay. And by doing this, by using the two different conjunctions, which do the same job, you can make your writing much more interesting for the reader. So I want you to use and apply your knowledge of the because and so conjunction to write about how animals, an animal of your choice, has adapted to suit its environment. If you have any problems with this or need any help, just send me a quick email on the class email address. I'd love to help you. Okay. Good luck, guys.